Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, we are sharing a builder of a nation that's so interesting, we don't know much about her, simply because she lived a short life, but still left a legacy. Another lesson for all of us. And the name is Zainab bint Khuzayma. Zainab bint Khuzayma is one of the wives of Rasul, alayhi salatu wassalam. She's actually from Mecca, from Quraysh. She was a widow. She was married to a Tufayl, who died at the Battle of Badr as a martyr. So the widows of Badr, they all were looking to get married again. It's very common in those days. Sayyida Zainab, the uniqueness about her is she not did not want to get married, but she relied on Allah completely that Allah will take care of her. And subhanAllah, what happened? Our Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, married her. Uniqueness of her is actually her half sister later on also became one of the wives of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, Sayyida Maymuna, what a blessed family. She was known, now we are coming. Again, we don't know much about her because she lived very short. She lived about less than a year, nine months after the marriage to Rasul alayhi But she was known as the mother of the poor and the needy, well known to be very compassionate, takes care of everybody. And this is something for all of us to know. Again, we don't know much about her, but only this came to us. And what is this teaching me? And what is this telling me? I want to be unique. I want to be a person who will leave legacy after me. Maybe I don't have a lot of what others have. But if I am compassionate, I take care of other people. Whether I have it in me or I'm working on me to change, it will lead to a legacy. And the Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, said the following hadith, which teaches me and you is not, I have to do a lot, a lot of good deeds, which is great. But what about those who lived very short life like she did? And the hadith is actually narrated by Sayyidah Aisha. Saddidu wa qaribu wa alamu an lay yudkhila ahadakum al jannah amaluh wa anna ahab al a'mali ila Allah adwamuha wa inqal. Do good deeds properly as much as you can and know that your deeds only will not get you to Jannah. Don't rely only on the deeds. I need to rely on the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on his mercy. But what is the message in this hadith? The most beloved deed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, adwamuha wa inqal, those that we do on constant basis, even if they were little. So here I am, here we are in this day and age, busy, so many things, rat race, running around, juggling to do so many things. Pick one thing that you can do, I can do constantly. So I don't pick up one and leave it and pick one and leave. Just one that you know you can do it every single day. One dollar, one pound, one coin, every single day as a charity, very little, but daily. That's very much beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Sayyidah Zainab bint Khuzayma, she was known to be constant in what she do in this short time. That's why this hadith is mentioned when she is mentioned, because she lived very short life, nine months after she married the Rasul alayhi But this few months of good deed, few months of good deed made her a legendary. Probably Allah knows was one of the reasons that the Rasul والسلام, chose her for her compassion, for her giving, mother of the poor. To be known with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not necessarily mean I need to be known in this dunya. Everybody knows me. I am very popular on social media. I have that many followers. She lived only nine months. Didn't have time to do all this. But in Allah yuhib. Al-abd al-taqi al naqi al-khafi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who have three characters. Naqi, pure. Taqi, Allah conscious. And al-khafi, the one who is not very well known, hidden. And also even Allah mentioned about the prophets 
ورسلا لم نقصصهم عليك in, in the chapter the woman Allah says some of the prophets Allah did not even mention them but they are still prophets at the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this beautiful hadith that we all need to make a dua for us especially in these blessed days and this is narrated by Suraj and he said قال الرسول عليه الصلاة والسلام إذا أراد الله بعبد خيرا عسله قيل وما عسله قال يفتح الله عز وجل له عملا صالحا قبل موته ثم يقبضه إليه When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves me and you He will make him sweet عسله Like you put honey on him So they said يا رسول الله عليه الصلاة والسلام What is عسله How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will Sweeten, make us more sweet. And he said, Asalah means Allah will facilitate to this person before he or she dies a good deed to do, whether once or continuous, but a good deed. And then he takes him. And we've heard stories about people who accepted Islam and three days later they died. Or somebody donated that much money and then two days later they died. Sayyida Zainab. Only nine months, compassionate, took care of the poor. But up till today, we're talking about her. Again, we don't need to know, to be very well-known and popular. But we need to be well-known and popular with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She was the second wife to die at the time of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam, And he prayed on her alayhi salatu wasalam. May Allah be pleased with her and with us all. Oh.